Okay, so there are some frequently used functions other than sum that you might want to know. So, for example, here, I want to find out what my average weekly spending was and put it right here. So, there's two ways I can do this. Of course, the average is going to be these four added up divided by four weeks. So, I could write that in, in as an equation. So, I could type equals and sort of thinking to your math, PEMDAS type rules, um, you can put parentheses in and say, okay, add this plus this plus this plus this, close up your parentheses, divide by four, and we get our average weekly spending of $783. That's one way you can do it. If you want to use a shortcut, there's an average function that you can use. So you can delete this longer equation that we just did. And we can basically say that we want to go up to the sigma up here. We want to find the average. And inside here, it wants me to tell it what I'm finding the average of, which is these four values, and push enter, and I get the same $783. You can do the same thing to find median or mode. Um, so I'm gonna go up to the sigma, um, and I don't actually see median there. So one thing I can do is look at the more functions. That's going to give you Google's uh, spreadsheets all of their entire functions list. So you could then search um, and see that it is median is the name of the function. Or if you know that off the top of your head, you can just push equals median, open up the parentheses, and tell it which values you want it to find the median of, close up your parentheses, and push enter. Great, so my median weekly spending is 872. I could do the same with the mode, but as you can see for my four weeks, I mean, none of them were the same, so that's gonna be a pretty pointless measure. Another thing you sometimes wanna know about your spreadsheet is how many total entries of a category you had, so not the sum or the average or anything like that, but just how many numbers are there. So if I wanted to find out throughout these four weeks, how many different expenses did I even have, that's the count function. So I can go up to Sigma, look to see if it's there. It is, so I can push count. And I want it to find a count of everything from my first expense, which was housing for week one, and then I'm going to highlight this entire big portion because I want all four weeks and I want it the whole way down my um, spreadsheet through my everything else category. And it tells me that I've basically made 26 entries of expenses for this month. So that's how you do average, median, account, or to count the number of expenses that I had. And you could then explore with other functions as well, such as the min, the max, or any of the other huge number of functions in the spreadsheet. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!